In this video, I'll try to explain my thought process when translating UI component designs into code. I'll use this Twitter card as an example. The most important thing is to focus on the containers, the invisible boxes that will hold what's actually visible on the screen. If you get this right, things will be 10 times easier and everything else will fall into place. The second most important thing is Flexbox. Mastering Flexbox is a must if you want to build faster and better UI components. The CSS framework I'm using is Tailwind CSS. It's an utility-based framework that provides me with tiny little classes I can use to build custom components without writing any CSS. And the best part, I never have to think about naming CSS classes ever again. If you haven't tried Tailwind CSS before, you should. The amount of classes you have to learn is quite discouraging, but trust me, you learn them faster than you think. Let's get started. Our first container will hold the entire widget. Looking at the design, I can see we have a white background, rounded corners, and some padding. So we have a div, and then as classes, we have PG white, which is background white, rounded corners, which will be rounded Excel probably, because it has a large border radius, and some padding, which is B4, for example. And now if I refresh the page, we already have a dot in here. Let's give it some width. And another thing we need to add is some shadow. And here it is. Here is our main container. Next up is identifying the next container. The way I do that is by starting from top to bottom and think of a container that resembles a row, while also keeping in mind that I should group relevant information together, like the avatar name and Twitter handle. Now that I identified my next row container, I try to identify the column containers that might be in it. In our case, the avatar name and handle on one side, and the following button on the other side. So we'll have one column, and then the next column. This will have the avatar name handle, and this will have the following. I'll start by using flex to push the columns to the side. So we'll do flex justify between, and then go ahead and style the follow button. So we'll have a button, and we'll go with text blue 500 rounded excel border border blue 500 and if we refresh and see what we have we need some padding i'll go with the height of 10 and x4 and we need more rounding rounded oh. Looks better, and let's make this bold. Okay, that looks better, and it would be nice if we have a hover state like refresh. Yeah. Looking at the other column, we should consider it as another container where we have three separate rows. So we'll go with one div for the avatar, one for the name, and one for the handle. Let's start with the image. We have image. I already have the URL in my clipboard. And to style this, we'll use h12 for the height, rounded full, and object. Okay, this is the avatar, though we can make it bigger, let's say 16. Yep, that's about it. Next up is the name, which will be, and this is just bold. the Twitter handle which is 
this needs to be a bit smaller and greater. And to reduce the space, can reduce the line height. And that's it. That's our first row like container. Let's close this and move to the next row, which will be the description. And this is just a div that will have some margin bottom. And we should also add the margin here. If we refresh, we get this. We need to reduce the line height a bit. And change the color. And of course, add in the links. So I have this one. And this is the same for the others. And that's it for this container. The next one is a more complicated because it's again a row like container. So I have the row and then the columns. One for the following, one for the followers. And we have six, three, five, nine following. And eight, nine, three, three followers. Let's refresh. Okay. First thing we need to do is make this a flex. So we have them side by side and then add some margin here. And of course these two are links. underline on hover. Okay, and we need to make this number bold and this one thinner. And we'll make everything bold. And we'll make this a regular font. Finally, in the last row, we have these three avatars and this description right here. So let's add a margin for this one as well. Close it and start a new one. This will hold the avatars, this will hold the description. So for the avatars, we have three images. One, two, three, and we need to style them. Make this with six, height six, rounded, full. Refresh. Rounded. Okay, and to align them, we'll use flex. And to make sure they overlap, we can use negative margin. And add a border. And 
and because we have used negative margin here, we need to push the flex a bit from the left. And also to flip the avatars so they match this these ones. So to flip them we can use So we need to make this one a flex. And we are quite there with the avatars. Let's add the description. Go with this will be a link. We'll have smaller text and gray. Refresh and we need to add in some water in here. And to make sure this one doesn't shrink, and one last thing is to Reduce the line height so yeah but we can do that on links we need to do it on the div and refresh and I think that's it that's our UI component so remember to always think in rows and columns and of course master flex because it will help you a lot. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye!